Okay, so in the last video, we understood how adding, multiplying, subtracting, and dividing a number by both sides of a numeric equation did not change its balance. Now let us try to use that concept of balance in algebraic equations. So we have an equation which says that x plus 3 equals 8 and we want to verify what happens when we subtract a number or add a number to the equation from both the sides. So let's say that we have x plus 3 equals 8. Now in this case, this is our left hand side and this is our right hand side. Now what I want to do is, I want to isolate x. I just want to get a value of x. So what can I do so that I just get x on this side and this side I am not really concerned what happens. But here I want x. So if I just observe here, if I subtract left hand side by from by 3, that is left hand side minus 3, it will give me x. So what we are going to do is, we subtract 3 from LHS and RHS. We need to do it at both the sides to maintain the balance. So when I subtract 3 for the LHS, we get x plus 3 minus 3. So this 3 gets cancelled out and what we have is x. Now what happens for the right hand side, RHS? So we have 8 minus 3 which gives us 5. So therefore the new equation that we get is x equals 5. This is what we have got. So this is nothing but the solution of the equation. Now how do we know that what this we have got is correct? So what we can do is we will substitute substitute the value of x equals 5 in this equation. So what do we have x plus 3? Let's say our original left hand side was x plus 3. When I substitute 5 of x, we get 5 plus 3. And therefore we get 8, which is nothing but the right hand side also. RHS is also equal to 8. Therefore, subtracting a number from an equation hasn't disturbed the balance and at the same time we were able to use it to arrive at a solution. Now let us look at another example. Now in this case we have 5y equals 35. 5y equals 35. Now I want to isolate y in this case. How do we do that? It's very simple. What if I divide this by 5, the left hand side by 5, then we get y. But because we need to maintain the balance of this equation, we have to divide the right hand side, which is 35 by 5 as well. So let us look at the left hand side, which is 5y into 1 by 5. That is, we are just dividing by 5. So we get LHS is equal to y, because this 5 will cancel. Similarly, we have RHS, which gives us 35 divided by 5 or it's 7. So the new equation that we got is x is equal to 7. Now let us look at whether what we got is this balance same or disturb or what it is. So we just substitute it in the left hand side which is 5y. So it is 5 into 7. This gives us 35, right? which is nothing but equal to your right hand side. So this is how we can use the concept of balance to solve the algebraic equations. Now let us conclude our discussion on the concept of balance. So we earlier did some operations and figured out that adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing a balanced equation by the same number preserves the balance of the equation which means that the left hand side will still be equal to the right hand side and this is a very useful observation to solve the equations as we saw 
in the algebraic equations that we discussed. So essentially you can view the balance of equation as a weighing scale. So you have a left hand side as it's shown here and a right hand side and this must be balanced, right? So this is what corresponds to your equal to sign and we, when we are solving the equation, we should make sure that this balance is not disturbed by adding same weights. That is, you can either add, subtract, multiply, or divide a same number by both the sides. That is, when you add a number on the left-hand side, you should add the same number on the right-hand side, and so on for subtraction, multiplication, and division. So in the next video, we will learn how to use this concept of balance and along with that, how we use the basic operations of adding, subtracting, multiplying or dividing to solve equations.